As mentioned in the previous lesson, I'd like to present a new view in the bin. And to change the bin view, there is a button up here, the view button. If you cannot see it, then you may need to resize your window until it is visible. By pressing this button, the bin cycles through the different view options. I'll show this by clicking once, and again, and again, 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 and finally, we end up back to the original view option. By using this method, I can choose different view options. There is also a way to choose a specific view with this small arrow next to this button. This is also labeled view in the mouse context menu. If I click on it, then a list opens and I can choose a specific view layout. And I'll select detail text large. And now I can see that for each clip, an image is shown. But I also have a large amount of extra information for each clip shown here, including clip color. The next view is detail text small which is more or less identical, except that the preview image is smaller. Detail icon does away with the preview images, and each clip is shown with an icon that will show what type of clip it is. In my case, the icons are almost all the film stripe symbol, which tells me that they are video clips. Just up here is a sequence, and this has a different icon. What these sequences are will be discussed later in a separate chapter. What I originally wanted to do was to colour all the clips that had a polar bear in them together. And to do this, I would change to the detail text small view, so that I have a small preview. And now, I'll choose the required clips. That would be this one, and then, with the control key held, this one. and then this one. And that should be it. And now I can see when I scroll that in the clip color column, I can make it somewhat wider by grabbing the dividing line with my mouse and moving it. I can see that in this field, there is a small arrow, but only on the last selected clips. And here I can choose my clip color. And if I change it to blue, then I can see that all the selected clips change to this color. So we can see that with this view option, I have the possibility to change clip color for multiple clips.